Hello, First Baptist West. My name is Kaylee, and I will be filling in for Harold. He's a little busy tonight. Um, I am live from the offices at First Baptist West and Elizabeth's desk. We are going to be having a fun night. It looks like Harold had planned for... Um, looks like we have a couple guests coming in. We have some great three things to be doing today. Haley, there's not anybody out there. What are you talking about? Someone needed me. I've been all over this place. There's not anybody there. Why are you behind? Why are you in my seat? I don't know. John, are we going? Oh, Kaylee, you stole my show. No, I didn't. Yes, you, okay. <laughs> Can I at least have my seat back? I know you said you wanted to be a part of the show, but I didn't think you wanted to be the show. I all guess. right. Well, all right. Well, thank you. Let me have my seat. Here, let you take that. Folks, I'm sorry about that. Kaylee told me that I had an emergency and I was supposed to be outside doing all this stuff and she's hijacking my show. So anyway, hey, here. All right. Hey, welcome to everybody. John, let's get this thing started again. All right. Let's try it again. All right, well, hey, welcome everybody. Thanks for joining in our Facebook Live here in the offices of First Baptist West and especially Elizabeth's desk. As Kaylee told you, we really do have a great show for you tonight. And uh, we just wanted to introduce some things for you and uh, come, come back here. <laughs> and so uh, what, what we're doing tonight is we just want to uh, take a few minutes and uh, introduce to you a, a new segment that we're going to start doing. And uh, we're going to welcome Kaylee actually to the show. You did a good job on that, Kaylee. <laughs> Thank you for trying to steal my show. But that was You're actually welcome. a setup. Yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> so what's going to happen is Kaylee has come to me and she wants to have a part in doing uh, some, of the, some of our programs. And so I thought it was a great idea, and so we're going to let her do it. And so, uh, Kaylee, it's good to have you on tonight. Thank you. And you, you did a good job with our opening little skit there and hope you uh, enjoyed that. I did. And I may be a little too much. <laughs> too much, yeah. And I think, well, I'm thinking maybe you really do want to do this show, so we'll just have to see. So uh, you're here tonight. How, how did yes. Sunday go? What did you think about our first Sunday back? I was so excited that we actually had people. Yes. It's, I, I've missed people so much. Yeah. It was a it's lot nice. of fun, wasn't it? It's nice it? to um, to hear the congregation back, and it's kind of like you said, even like just sitting and uh, listening to you preaching, just having everybody there here and everybody say amen, and like yeah. it's just it's great. <laughs> well, good. Well, Kaylee, as I said, we've talked about her coming on and doing some segments with us every now and then, and being a part of the show, and so I'm looking forward to that. So, Kaylee, what, what are some things that you're thinking about doing? Um, so when I originally talked to you, I had said, um, Matthew's church, they did like ask the pastor, um, uh, well, they've done all of their staff a little bit. So, um, if we could have people sending questions to ask you, or if we want to do, um, maybe Carrie or John or Keith or Barry, okay. anybody in okay. the church. So that'd be one of the things. So mm -hmm. if you have questions, what basically is going to happen is I guess Kaylee will Interview Harold. And interview me. So if there's some things that you want to know about, uh, some questions you have, uh, somehow get them to us and Kaylee will ask them. And uh, we're looking forward to that. And so uh, this was part of, the, of our fun things that we're going to do starting from this point on with Kaylee. She may not be here every week, but... Most of the time she will be, but she'll have little things, and maybe it'll be outside doing some other things, uh, some other interview type things. So looking forward to it, and thanks for <laughs> coming and being on uh, on the show. We got a lot of people already uh, tuning in, so hopefully uh, they'll continue to do that. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to everything going on. Now we're getting ready, and since you've already kind of hijacked my, my 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 show here, why don't you go ahead and because this is the time that we get to the three things you need to know. So I'm going to turn it over to you, Kaylee. Get us going with the three things. Hit it, John. <laughs> all right, so three things that you should know about here at First Baptist West. First of all is our M28 Ministries. We've been doing uh, those over the last several weeks, as you know. We've been feeding a lot of people on Tuesdays. Well, that has now been changed. But we're going to continue to do that, but it will be on Saturday instead of Tuesday. Now, what we're going to do is, because the M28 Ministries has changed it 
to doing it only on Saturdays. We're just going to do one Saturday every uh, five or six weeks. We're not going to be doing every Saturday. As a matter of fact, our first Saturday is June the 13th. And so what they're going to be doing is it's going to be more of what we used to be able to do uh, some time ago. And that's where we'll meet. We'll give out clothes uh, to the people that have needs of clothing. Uh, we also will be giving a, a service there. There'll be a service for the people to come and worship. And then, then we'll be serving the meal. So we're still going to need uh, some volunteers. We're going to need some people to help out uh, in any way that you can. And so uh, please remember the M28 Ministries is still going on but it's only on Saturday. So what we'll do is we'll give out uh, later next week about uh, things that we're going to be needing for you to help with. So that's number one. Number two, church restart. As Kaylee and I just talked about, we got to start on uh, Sunday and it was a great time to be together. We had a wonderful uh, group of people in both services. Uh, I want to thank all the volunteers who came and helped us with that and thank you for uh, being involved with us. And, and we had a great worship time. As Kaylee said, it was great to have people back in our worship services with us and uh, getting to associate with people. So we're going to do round two this coming Sunday uh, at 8.30 and 10.45. So we want to encourage you to come. If you feel uh, that you're able to make it and you feel secure in doing that, then if you'll come on uh, 8.30 or 10.45, we'd love to worship with you. But we're also going to be needing some more volunteers, ushers, greeters, uh, the church, and that way we'll be able to we're going to be doing our preschool and our nursery uh, in the next couple of weeks. We're going to be providing that. That starts on June 21st. That's just a couple of more Sundays away. But what we're also going to do is that's only going to be on the 1045 service. So it's not going to be at the 830. So if you're going to want to come and, and you want to have the preschool and the nursery available to you and your family, then if you'll come at the 1045 service, uh, that way we'll be able to do that. That'll help uh, not them, for them not have to sanitize in between uh, the services. So we'll be doing that just on one. Now also, if you can come, come. If you feel uncomfortable, or if you haven't been feeling well, or if you in the uh, feel if you're a little older and you you just not feel comfortable with being here yet, then go ahead and stay home and join us on our 10:45 service live stream, and we'll be looking forward uh, to ministering to you in that way. So that's number two. Number three, the number the thir third thing you need to know is summer activities. Man, summer is 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 here. We're in June now. Uh, school has been out, but it would have already been out by this time. Summer activities are starting. Now, we're not going to be able to uh, have our kids camp. We're not going to be able to do Falls Creek. We're not going to have those things. But uh, we do have a list of, uh, of events all summer long, different activities, hangout times for our youth to get together. Uh, we do have a, a retreat that's coming for our, our students, and John is going to be getting that out to you. So Carrie and John will have a list of of their activities uh, posted up from week to week on what we're going to be able to do. So be looking out for all the great summer things we have. Now, before that's number three. And before we have our first guest, uh, Addison and Dalton, come on, what we're going to do is we want to give you a commercial break, and that's going to be of our youth promo. So, John, let's go to our first commercial break. 2020 was a rough year for First Baptist West. We've had to cancel our worship services. That included no more hearing of the word in person. And one of the hardest difficulties we face so far, which is canceling time of fellowship to enjoy one another's company. And the small ray of light that was False Creek has also been put out. But there is a new light of hope. There is our summer camp of 2020. First Baptist West students will be able to enjoy a time of fellowship, relaxation, and worship in this beautiful cabin. Ooh, look at those nice rooms and nice patio all up in their woods. Now join with me as we meet together July 8th through the 10th for a fantastic voyage into the great outdoors of Broken Bow, Oklahoma. The cost will be $70 per person. That'll provide you for your meals while we're in the cabins, that'll provide your cabin fee, and that'll also provide you a beautiful t-shirt designed by yours truly. However, on the way up and the way down, you'll need to bring money or at least a packed lunch. 
and dinner on the way home will not be provided. Well, I guess it will be provided, but if you want to eat out, you'll have to bring your own money. Registration will be coming shortly. Stay updated. Stay tuned. All right, we want to encourage you to uh, be sure to uh, sign up and and be ready for that uh, youth uh, retreat that we're looking forward to having going to Broken Bow. As you can see, uh, my sidekick, what they call the, the, I guess, sidekick on the show? Uh, co-host. Uh, co-host. Oh, you want co-host yeah. privileges. <laughs> oh, all right. So we go from sidekick to my co-host. Kaylee has moved down a couple of seats. Uh, she wanted to move this direction, but I did make her move that way. But uh, she made room for our first two guests, and I want to, many of you know them, but for those in our, uh, who are not a part of our church, this is Addison and Dalton Sawyer, and they are some amazing uh, young people in our youth group and part of our church. I've known them for a long, long time, and so they have begrudgingly volunteered to come and, and be on the uh, program with us. Uh, and I just wanted to introduce you to them because, again, they are amazing, uh, amazing couple of, uh, of students. And well, I refer to them as the twins because, of course, they are. So that's a good, good thing. So, guys, thanks for coming and being on the program tonight. You're no welcome. Problem. You got a little nervous doing this? Of course. <laughs> there you go. Uh, so am I. So we're all even. We're all on playing ground here. Uh, how have things been going for you all? Good. Just perfect. Just been sitting at home, going to practice, and that's it, really. <laughs> now, your dad showed some stuff today that you weren't just sitting at home, buddy. Yeah, I actually went out and about and did things. You know, and for some things I saw it was pretty cool. So It was. Yeah, so that, that, you haven't been just sitting at home, but you've enjoyed the, being out of school and all that. How yes. did it feel ending school the way you did? It was very unexpected. I was very shocked. I thought we'd at least maybe go back. Uh huh. I really wasn't expecting the online school, but like it worked out. So this is the longest spring break you ever had, huh? Yes, it was. You went on spring break and <laughs> never came long. back. Yes. That, that would have been my type of school right there, but mm -hmm. so good. Good. So have y'all been doing okay during the summer, the, the break and keeping mm -hmm. yourself busy? Yes. yes. Okay, good. So as everybody notices, you guys are wearing some, some medals, which I've been trying for several weeks now to get you to bring the show me, but this is the only way I could get is to get you on the program. Uh, you guys are involved in, in a swim team, am I right? Yes. Okay. And you compete with people from what areas? Out of state, Arkansas, Texas, Louisiana, Kansas, just anybody who wants to come down and race, really. Okay, so how often do y'all, do you do that? Do you compete? Um, I'd say every, during the summer, it'd be every weekend, because it's a very tight schedule, but during the winter, it'd be every other weekend or every three weekends. Okay, and how many events do you swim in? We uh, swim about six to eight events. Really? Okay. Yes. And y'all both do the same, yeah, same, same events? Thing. Okay. What, what's, what's your specialty? Which one do you like doing the most? The 200 backstroke. Oh, is that pretty tough though, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. I figured you'd like the tough one. What about you, Dalton? What, which one do you like? I like to do the brush strokes, the 100 and the 200 brush stroke. Okay. Now, if you're going to do, for people like me who are not into the swimming, we don't, if you, if you call it the 100 meter breaststroke how, how far is that in the pool that's four laps four laps oh yes. okay so it's not like down there and back and you're done huh <laughs> no it's four okay wow so how much training do you do to get ready for these meets we do training every single day um except for saturday and sundays from it was um five o'clock to six thirty around there and then now it's three thirty to five okay so do you, you swim here in Lawton? At the we swim here in Lawton, yes. yes. Okay. And so where do you compete? Where have you gone to compete before? We compete in Edmond and Tulsa. Okay. All right. Now, there was something that I know you guys have done very well in. Uh, you, you, as you see, you've got medals, and uh, you guys were preparing for a major event coming in the mm -hmm. fall. What was yes. that? Junior Olympics. Okay. And you had to, how did you get to go to the Junior Olympics? What did you have to do? You had to make qualifying times. Okay. And so in your competitions, you, you just don't sign up and go to the Junior Olympics? No. Okay. And both of you had qualified? Yes. yes. What did you qualify in, Dalton? I'm not completely sure, but I qualified for all my freestyle, my breaststroke, my backstroke, and maybe a fly. Wow. 
All right, Edson, what about you? What'd you compete? Some of the backstrokes, freestyles, maybe a breaststroke or butterfly. <laughs> wow. So <laughs> now you've trained all that, you were prepared for mm -hmm. all that, but. Mm -hmm. Corona <laughs> hit and everything got canceled. Oh man! Yeah, but you you haven't given up the training though, right? No, no. we're still You're there. still going at it. Mm -hmm. Well, good. Well, what what I wanted to do is because we talk about it, and you guys uh, have been, from what I understand, you've been really destroying your times, man. You've mm -hmm. just been knocking them out of the water, all literally knocking them out of the water <laughs> every time. Uh, you compete now, your, your time is getting better and better. So what I wanted to do is, is if y'all don't mind, uh, before I keep questioning you about some mm -hmm. other things, I wanted to, we, we got a couple of times that your dad and mom sent us a, 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 one of your races. And so folks, mm -hmm. I want you to take a moment and, and watch them actually in competition. And, and, and of course, I'm sure it's one that y'all won, right? Yes. Okay, do you remember which one yours is? This one is the 100 free. The 100 free? Yes. Okay. All right. John, let's watch the 100 free. That's hard. You're getting in the water is pretty, oh, pretty oh, close, oh, right? Oh, yeah. dude. Look at him. Come on, Dalton! Oh, my God. Come on, Dalton! Well, he just needs to keep the pace. He's looking correct. See if he can hold Dalton! it. Come on, Two, right on your tail, dude. You better stay. Stay, stay, stay. Come on. Come on, Come on. 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 You ain't giving it up, is you? Wow. <laughs> this is a heat two in grade one. Man, there's a lot of that team. Sawyer, Louis Stevenson, Joel Leslie, Yannis, Come on, Stevenson. Go, Eddie! Right there in it. Go! Anyway, so I want to continue on because we were just talking about before we before we were interrupted about how they wear a certain scripture on on your arm and uh, one of the things that that I heard about that I wanted Addison you to tell was about the time you got to witness to somebody because of it. Do you yes. mind sharing that? I think it was for the 100 freestyle. I was getting ready to go up and she asked, "What's on your arm?" And I basically explained the verse and how it's helped me. Okay. And so what, what did she say? How did she respond to that? She asked what team we were on. So I got to represent our team. All right. Very good. Well, like I said, I want you to know I'm really proud of what you guys are doing and, and the testimonies that you have. And, and not only uh, how good you're doing and how hard I know it is for you to train. And I appreciate that. But before I pray over you, because every time someone comes on, I want to spend some time praying over you. We have something, Dalton, that I want you to watch. And for anyone that uh, real, remembers this, about five years ago, we did some Sunday School promotional videos. And Dalton was the star of the very first one we had. And so uh, before he got out of here, I, we, we watched him compete. Now I want you to watch him act. So this was uh, back from doing like the Snickers commercials. You're mm -hmm. not what you're not the way you should be. You're, you're not, not your you old when you're hungry. Yeah, yes. you're, yeah, you're not your old self when you're hungry. But this is you're not your normal self when you go to don't go to Sunday school. Mm -hmm. So John, let's go ahead and, and watch it. Let everybody see this. I'll have some coffee. Okay. Uh, would you like some cream or sugar with that? Did I ask for cream or sugar? Did I? Uh, no. You did. Here you go. This is terrible. Who made it? Uh, Brother Harold. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been to Sunday school yet? No. no. Why? You're not your loving self on this Sunday school. 
Let me take you to Sunday school, all right? But there better be some donuts there. Okay. Come on. Hey, I'll see you after Sunday school, okay? Okay. Man, give me a pot here. So you, you've changed a little bit yes. since that time, huh? Yes. <laughs> you said you didn't really remember doing that until I it came back up on the timeline. You brought it back up, and I saw the video. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, you you do angry really well, so I hope that's not your normal. <laughs> that, so I I don't I don't know if that's how you you were just being yourself or you were acting, but you did a great job. I just wanted to let people see that and, and remind you of how little you were at one time <laughs> when you did this. So, hey, guys, again, thank you all for coming on and wearing your medals. We're proud of you, and I know the church is proud of you. Everyone has been talking about uh, how excited they are to, to watch you. And so uh, we, we just want to pray over you, if you don't mind, and, and uh, then we'll let you guys get out of the uncomfortable <laughs> chairs. Is, okay. is that all right? All right. Okay, well, let me pray over you guys. Father, in Jesus' name, we come to you and we thank you for your love and your grace. Thank you for the blessings of life that you've given us. And, and God, I thank you for Addison and Dalton, and I thank you for the great young people they are, and I thank you for their mom and dad, and uh, Lord, just the influence they are for them. And I thank you for uh, their testimony, God, that they understand that they've been given a, a blessing in their physical abilities, but Lord, they also have been blessed uh, by you. In, in, their, in their spiritual lives as well. And I just pray for continued growth for them. I pray, Father, they would stay focused on you first and foremost. And then, Father, with the, uh, the competitions, and I pray that for physical well-being for them, for strength to their bodies and their spirits, and God, that we could see them continue to grow and get even better uh, and, and represent you even in a greater way and on bigger stages. But God, just continue to guide them now. And just show them favor in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you guys so much for that. And it's been fun having you on. And thank you for wearing your medals. And, and again, we have a lot of people that are saying they, they're really proud of you. And we're looking forward to seeing you maybe in the real Olympics one day. The maybe. Big Olympics. So we're, we'll, we'll, we'll be ready. All right? All right. Well, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Well, before we let them go, we're about to go over into our, uh, our Bible study. And so I want to encourage you to, to uh, get your Bibles and, and then we'll be moving into that. Hey, thank you for joining us again tonight and hope that you're enjoying the program. But I want to take just a minute to uh, get into the Word of God with you, if you don't mind. Uh, you know, we've got some crazy times living around us today. And with the COVID-19, with everything else that's going on, what I wanted to do tonight is I, I just wanted to share with you uh, and ask you the question, what are you seeing when you look around the world today? What are you seeing and how are you seeing it? According to the scripture, there's basically two ways that we can see things. One is by our physical eyes, with the way we see things. And the problem with seeing things through our physical eyes is that's the natural world. All we can see is the things that are physical. We, we can't look at the spiritual sides of it. We can't do anything. It's all by the natural world. The problem with that is, is everything that we see, everything that we look at is done by our own perspective with our physical eyes. And the thing about our own perspective is that's self-centered. Everything that I view is in a self-centered manner. When I view things that also not as it's only as it's self-centered, but it, it can be skewed. The reality of it may not be the way it is perceived by me. I skew things in my own way. But it also can be manipulated. I can mold and people can mold the way that we see things. And the problem is that uh, everything that I do in the physical will be how I feel. At that moment, I will see things by how I was raised. I will see things even by my own circumstances of right now. And that's the way we view it. Now, the problem with this is this can never unify. The world is always looking for a unified spirit. But my friends, when we view things through the physical eye, we cannot be unified this way. Someone once said that we see the world not as it is, but by how we are. So the natural world can never heal. 
The natural world view cannot unite. The natural world view cannot have a true testament to what's going on. So when Paul, in, in the scripture that I want to read to you, in, in Ephesians chapter uh, 1, verses 17 through 19, says this, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of wisdom and rever- revelation in the knowledge of him. The eyes of your understanding, or in some translation says, the eyes of your heart being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling. What are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints? And what is the exceeding greatness of his power toward us? So what Paul is saying is, I want to pray, and I want to pray for our nation tonight. I want to, I want to pray for each other, that our spiritual eyes will be open, that we will be able to see things. And by, by that is what I'm meaning is we'll see things the way God sees them. We will see the situation the way God sees it. We will see individuals the way God sees them and not by us. And it's by God's Spirit that we can be unified, and it's only by God's Spirit that we can be unified. We see things spiritual as God sees it, and, and then we see people as God sees them. John 17, 21, Jesus prayed that they would be one as you and I are one. He said, God, I pray that, that this world would be as one, one Spirit, as you and I are one. But my friends, that only comes through Jesus Christ. And it's only by the Holy Spirit. It is impossible for us to be unified together under the physical view of this world. It's only through the spiritual view. Because here's the thing, God being one God, He doesn't see divisions by race. He doesn't see divisions by gender. He doesn't see divisions by nationality. He sees things as one group, equal, and working together. So my prayer for for our situation tonight, for our nation, is that we be one. That we receive the power and the blessings and the understanding of Jesus Christ. That we can have hope, we can have peace, we can can understand the power only through Him. That's where our hope is. It's God working through us. And I and you getting a whole different perspective today. The perspective with our spiritual heart, not our physical eyes. I want to pray with you about that right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you and we thank you for your love and your grace. Thank you for your watch care. And God, I pray tonight for our leaders. I pray, Lord, for their wisdom that, God, they could bring a sense of calmness and peace. I pray, Father, for people who have lost loved ones. Oh, that, Father, you could just be, be healing, bring healing to them. And, God, I pray that you would comfort them. I pray for those who have loved ones that have been hurt. I pray, Father, for those who have uh, lost a, pretty much p- every part of their life through all these situations that have gone on the last few months. And, Father, I pray for a unifying spirit for our nation. And, God, I pray that people would turn their, their face to you that I would turn my face to you, that, God, I would not view things in the worldly sense, the physical sense, but, God, view things as you see them. Then I could see people, I could see situations, God, as you do. So bring healing to us tonight. Bring healing to our nation. Bring healing to, to, to our city. Bring a unified spirit through your spirit. And it's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you again for joining us, and I hope that uh, God will be able to work through you and in you over these next several days. And now let's go ahead and get back to our program. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. And I want to apologize for the technical difficulties we've had tonight. The Internet just was wreaking havoc on us. Uh, so I want to thank uh, Addison and Dalton Sawyer and their parents for bringing them in tonight and let's getting to uh, interview them. We did have a Randy and John were going to come on tonight, but for for time, we're going to go ahead and begin to wrap this thing up. And I want to thank Kaylee uh, for joining in with me. And, you're and we welcome. had to, yeah, you're, thank you. <laughs> and, and you see that we had to move into my office, and she gets the high chair. Maybe oh, the high chair because you're the baby. That may be what we're looking at. So no. Oh, okay. No. So, Kaylee, you got any <laughs> any comments to make before we get ready to wrap this thing up? Um, send your questions in. I think we should start with you. Uh, send your questions for Harold. Okay. Uh, w- you want them sent to the church? Um, I think we could do either the Facebook page, um, 
send them on to the Facebook page or I guess, I don't know. Okay. Email you, them. Email to them to, to us, uh, to me would be great. Uh, we'll, we'll be getting those out. So if you want to ask me any questions, because our next segment next week, one of the segments will be Ask the Pastor. So if you have any questions you want to ask, and I guess any questions they want to ask is, yes. is fine. Uh, I may not answer them all, but... <laughs> You can ask whatever you want. But we're looking forward to that. And Kaylee's going, as I said, going to be joining us uh, from this point on through the rest of the summer. And uh, we're really excited about things that are going on. God has been blessing our church. And uh, we want to thank you for joining in on this program as you've been very, very faithful with that. And we want you to stick with us. Hopefully next week uh, we'll have a few less uh, difficulties. Uh, But we're going to have a great show for you next week. uh, And we're looking forward to that. So I want to encourage you, though, to join Join in with us at 8.30 or 10.45 Sunday morning live if you want to be a part of our services. We're looking forward to that. Kaylee will be part of She's part of our praise team, and she I'll plays the there. piano. Yes, she'll be there, and I'll be there, and unless she sends me off on another wild goose chase. <laughs> but uh, we're, we're looking forward to worshiping with you uh, Sunday morning, and that's going to be a great time. Now, if you're not able to make it, as, as we've been talking, that maybe you don't feel comfortable coming yet or you haven't been feeling well, we encourage you to uh, stay home. But yet join us uh, on our live stream service. We're looking forward to that. So again, thank you for joining us tonight. Again, sorry for the difficulties. Uh, but what we'll do is all of this will be put together into one um, mistaken free uh, <laughs> video that we'll place on our YouTube channel. And we will also be able to put it on our Facebook page. So if you want to rewatch this and, and uninterrupted, uh, we hope you'll do that. But again, God bless you. Kaylee, thank you for joining us tonight. It's thank going to be you. fun having yes. you on. And uh, uh, we're looking forward to what God's going to do for our Facebook Live. So God bless you. Thank you for coming. And remember, folks, pray for our country. We really desperately need it. And as I did in my Bible study, I want to encourage you to ask God to open up our the eyes of our heart so that we can be united in spirit as, as one people, one nation, under one God. God bless you, and have a great evening, and good night. Night. <laughs>